Good evening, my name is Jack Stone and you are watching Experience Bar, the home of video game inspired cocktails, because the best way to fight a zombie is to drink a zombie first. Today we're going to be making a drink inspired by Resident Evil 2, the recently remade version from Capcom. It's fun to see these remastered versions come out, uh, especially with horror games. They were, they were ugly as sin, you could kind of count each individual pixel and each individual polygon, but if you took the average 12 year old away from Apex Legends for two minutes and sat them down in front of the original Resident Evil series, they would laugh at you if you told them this was actually legitimately scary. And yet it was. Imagination played a huge role back then. And every time a pixelated dog jumped through a window or a blocky zombie came and took a chunk out of your character, it was scary. There was a lot of psychological damage there. I'm not a big fan of horror games, so I've got a lot of damage as a result. There's not much we can do about the psychological damage, but there's a few little neat tricks that we can follow to heal up that physical damage to the character, at least. Talking about the green herb, you know, that indoor pot plant that you could munch on and it for some reason healed you. Yeah, that's a drink that we're going to be making today. Let's get started. So, to begin this drink, we're going to need six to eight mint leaves. A handful will do, you don't have to necessarily count them out. We're going to follow that up with about three to four slices of cucumber, cucumber, and two ounces of gin, half an ounce of lime juice, and half an ounce of apple liqueur. I'm using sour apple liqueur. If you have regular apple liqueur or just apple juice, make sure that you add a little bit more sweetness to it. So like a couple of teaspoons of sugar, like you would with a mojito, but because this is sour, it kind of balances it out a little bit better by itself. After that, we are going to muddle muddle. Now, because we're muddling two things at the same time here, one of which is quite, quite durable, the cucumber, um, and one that is quite fragile, the mint. You have to be a little bit careful. You wanna keep pressing until you stop hearing those crunching noises from the cucumber, but you don't wanna twist it too much so that the mint leaves breaking out. I can tell you here, there are a couple of mint leaves that have already broken up in here. As long as you don't do it too much, it should be okay. You basically just don't want little, little bits of mint floating around in your drink. A good way of telling is just to give it a little sniff. Yep, and once you can get both the mint and the cucumber in there, you're done. So you're gonna pop that to the side, you're gonna grab your actual shaker tin, and you are going to strain your mixing glass out into here. Now I usually use a Boston shaker, and in fact, this is the last half of a Boston shaker, but for this one, I prefer to use a cobbler, mostly because I don't have my mixing glass and the glass half of a Boston shaker works perfectly well. After that, we are going to pop this on and give it a bloody good shake. Pop that lid off, grab our martini glass and strain it on in. Now, if you are using a cobbler, just be slow with your straining uh, because the uh, strainer is not necessarily going to be small enough to stop every single shard of ice coming out. And after you've strained it all out, we are going to grab a cucumber slice and garnish it there. Very pretty. And if you feel like it, a little orange twist, it's like nice to add a little bit of color to uh, green and green. So there you have it. That is the green herb from Resident Evil. Cheers. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Whew. Okay. So this drink is, it's super fresh. That's the first thing that you get. You get those cucumber and that mint coming through really strongly. Um, the apple liqueur helps to give it a little bit of uh, sweet and sour as well. So the gin gives it this really strong uh, herbaceous backbone. The, the mint provides this coolness and the cucumber. Uh, it, it, it's a very healthy, tasting drink. Uh, it almost tastes like, almost tastes like it's doing you good. You can feel it going down and kind of knitting those wounds a little bit. I mean, I can't recommend it for treating a zombie bite, but it might uh, cure other wounds that you might have. Let's put it that way. It certainly feels like it's doing me good. Uh, but yeah, that is it. That is the green herb from Resident Evil. 
Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I have been Jack Stone. This has been Experience Bar. Uh, if you fancy supporting the channel or like what you're seeing here, give us a like and a subscribe. Um, alternatively, head on over to our Patreon for some exclusive content. Uh, and if you've got any suggestions for games that you'd like to see cocktailized, let me know in the comments below. We do read them and we do make them. But until then, thank you so much for joining me. See you next time.